Oh, welcome to my pink kitchen. Ooh, 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 ooh. If you haven't seen, I painted my kitchen pink. It was a disaster, but we got there in the end, and now I love it. Guess who doesn't want to go food shopping? Take a wild guess. Uh, me. Sorry, I'm really moving the camera around, so if you feel a bit sick. If you've watched one of these videos before, you'll know I like to show you my cupboards before I go food shopping. This is how I decide sort of what meals I'm going to make, and I always try and incorporate, 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 incorporate. What is that word? Incorporate what I've already got into a meal so that I use what I buy instead of just storing food in my cupboards like I'm Tesco or something. I normally write like a little list and then meals, but today I can't bother to write the little list, just writing meals. And I take photos of the cupboards anyway, so if I think, oh, have I got that? I'll just look at my photos. I know, genius, genius, genius. I think this is more empty than last time, you know. We have no milk, we have no butter. We have no cheese. Well, we have a Noomi cheese and I can't remember what that cheese is called. Potatoes. Potatoes! No eggs, just condiments. And obviously the only thing that ever pushes me to actually go food shopping is the lack of cereal. Snacks, they're looking all right. So maybe need a few of them. Crackers, and nothing there. In here, I've got some tins left. A little bit of peanut butter, pancakes love as Nutella, but so do I. And I kind of wish this wasn't in here. I probably should just bin it, but that's wasteful. This, I'm sure, has been in here since the January haul. That just goes to show that I shouldn't have bought this. If you need to use it, or I don't know, give it to someone. This is why I do this, because then I know if I'm being wasteful and I've just got things in the cupboard just to collect dust. So yeah, oil, salts. I can't look at these the same way since mine and Naomi's video. I can't. I've got loads in my mouth. Are you joking? I don't want to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Wraps. So I have an idea for these. When do they go out of date? The 14th and it is the 5th. So I think I'm gonna have a meal which includes these. Actually, I've just got another meal. Great. Perfect. And this is really annoying. So I got some white wine win vinegar. <laughs> I got some white wine vinegar. But look, I feel like every recipe I get, this is the ingredient I don't have. So it's just like rices and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I can't cook rice anymore. Never get boil in a bag because it ruins your ability to cook rice. I'm like a broken record. I say that every time. Garlic. I've got chicken stock, I need that. Yep, yep. Ooh! I've got this on my last food shop, so I should really try and use that. I think you just put it on chicken. And then in the freezer, I usually keep bread in here, so I need some bread. Some spinach. If you don't keep spinach in the freezer, it's a really good idea. Fish cakes, which I'll have a meal with this. I just like to have these with vegetables, normally tender stem broccoli, fish fingers, and keys. And I bought this because my dad, but I'm a bit scared of it, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'll have this next week as well, if I'm brave enough. Yorkshire's, and that is just all my frozen veg, for just in case I need that. And if you like these kind of videos, and give this video a thumbs up, thank you, and subscribe. Maybe you want me to go somewhere else, it's not Aldi. I suppose I could go to like Sainsbury's and show the difference, but it might hurt my soul. Spending like 80 to 100 pounds when I know I could be spending like 50. My hair looks lovely after being in the rain. Oh, we're gonna need to tell you something before I show you the food. You know, I always go on about my wanker bags, aka my trolley bags. I've had women tell me they love them, old ladies, you know, you name it. I've had people say, Oh, where'd you get them from? But today, I officially am. Um, Cool. I was walking out of Aldi and these two boys that were probably like 10 years old went, they're actually really cool. And I was like, I know. Jack, I know. I am the ultimate cool Aldi shopper. <laughs> so we'll start off with Sainsbury's and never go shopping on an empty stomach. This happened on the way home. First thing, Wheatabix Crunchy Brand. If you've never tried these, 
so, so good. I only seem to find them in Sainsbury's. Some crunchies, and these are really nice. I'm not really a crisp person, but I love these. I quite like just the Sainsbury's own brand fabric conditioner. Yeah, I got a different scent this time. I wasn't sure about it, but I wanted a change. I also wanted Viacal, but I swear there was something going on in Sainsbury's. There was like every single worker manager possible down the cleaning aisle with about 30 massive boxes of cleaning stuff. And they were taking ages to put it out and I was like sort of loitering around like where's the via cow? So I just, you know, I left it. They clearly had issues. I only like this sugar, that's it. But I don't like banana. I know, strange. These are 35p in Sainsbury, so when they're 35p, I get them. I don't, I used to buy them every week, but now I only get them when they're on offer. Moving on to Aldi. Grapes. I mentioned this in my What I Spend in a Week, but I like to get little boxes as I like it when it's fresh. I'd rather just go to shops and buy little packets and actually eat it than buy a big pack and waste most of it. So you've got some of these, and these basically taste like party rings. They're actually exactly the same. I freaking love a snack, can you tell? Some butter, eggs. So my food shop usually lasts me around two weeks. Obviously you have to get the odd thing, like milk, whatever. The main bulk of it, two weeks. And then the last week I spend, it's kind of like a challenge, see how long I can last without going food shopping. Not little shops, but the main shop again. And I was actually thinking, should I film a video of that week. Surprise what you can make when you've got nothing. Anyway, my point was, the last time I did my big shop, I actually wasted vegetables. So this time I've got less veg, I'd rather nip out to shops and get it fresh and not waste it. Some tender stem broccoli, because I love it. Sliced mushrooms, and these were actually cheaper than them not sliced, and I thought, well, that will save me time. Some spring onion, and this and this, even though they were going to other meals, tonight I'm thinking of having Rice with loads of vegetables in it with the wraps, so like a burrito, peppers, shallots. I like getting shot. <laughs> I get going to call it Charlotte because I think I'm funny. And I'm like, Charlotte, you get the Charlotte shallots because I'm not gonna lie, I just don't like cutting up onions. So I'd rather get little mini shallots. Baked beans. I got some of the carpet fresh again. Milk for my cereal. I had the mushroom risotto the last time I went and I thought I'd try this one because it was actually really good. I usually just drink water but if I'm going to have juice it's always high juice. So I've got the black currant and I run out of garlic granules so I've got these just in case I haven't got any garlic left. And more cereal because obviously I needed four boxes. This which is basically like special K and then malted Wheaties which are really nice. Some bread, cheese and Onto like the meals. I was going to get meatballs and just make my own sauce and everything like I did before. But then I saw they've got this. And I quite like their ready, set, cook. It's all fresh stuff anyway. But it's all in the tray and you just whack it in. It just looked quite nice. You see. Recently started buying fresh pasta. And oh my god, it's so much nicer. And the sell-by dates are really not that bad. So the 10th of April... I did not realise how long it lasts for. I feel like it's like once you go fresh, you can't go back because it's so good. So I got that to have with the meatballs and chicken drumsticks because I'm going to make a slow cooker chicken thing with this. If you watch my last Audi haul, I got basically this, but they'd already put the spices on. They had carrots and leeks in there and it was basically a slow cooker pack, but I'm going to do it myself. Got the chicken with cheese and leek gratin. You're probably thinking I'm just so lazy, but it's all fresh. I don't really mind. I like it. It just saves me having to think, oh, what should I have? Even though I could make this myself. Do you know what I mean? Technically, because of their ready set thing, I've ended up making it myself. Some breaded chicken steaks, because I'm going to put them in the wraps with some sweet chilli sauce and maybe some lettuce. I didn't buy lettuce today because I wasn't sure when I was going to have them and I didn't want it to go bad and, again, waste food. Fresh tag tag tagliatelle to have with some prawns and I'm going to make sort of like a cheesy sauce, put the spring onions in and some vegetables. And then I couldn't not get this again. The last time I had this was my last haul, which is in January, and they have not been in there since. So I thought I could have that with mash and vegetables. 
My eyes, Jesus. Jesus, gosh, gosh. Idiot, hell no I won't marry you, gosh. So I spent 42 pounds 91 in Aldi. How good is that? And I spent £10.75 in Sainsbury's. So total, that is, what is that? £53.66. And I think that is really good. Do you know when you always say, if this was in Tesco, if this was in Tesco, it'd be, it would be £100. Like, when is that going to get old? Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh my God. All I keep thinking is, Thanks for watching, and now I'm going, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this was a football Sunday night. Tell it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> subscribe, like.